the word of God says, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. He said, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Exodus chapter 12, verse 12. Dear child of God, the Lord is arising on your behalf today and he will bring judgment. He will bring judgment to the camp of the enemies. He will bring judgment on those enemies that have been frustrating your life and your destiny. Dear child of God, those altars that they have been manipulating your life from, those places that they have made their divinations to see to it that you are struggling in life, to see to it that you are afflicted. Today, I want you to know that God will destroy it. He said he is against the gods of the Egyptians. He said he is against the enemies. He said he would execute judgment. The word of God had made clear to you. He said he standed in the congregation of the mighty and he judged among gods. Dear child of God, when the Lord arises in judgment, he does a very clean job. And I want you to know, like he did to the enemies of God's people, he will do to your very enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. He's bringing judgment and judgment must be served. He said he will bring to them what they deserve, the works of their hands, the works of their evil, he will bring to them. Dear child of God, he stood against you from getting married, but it's time to be free. It is time for the enemies to let loose of you and let you go. Every of your blessings that had been held, dear child of God, you have been suffering for no reason. The people of God were suffering and God arose and brought judgment. He brought judgment to the camp of the enemy and this would make the people of God to go free. They were released and all of their blessings went with them. Dear child of God, they were favored. They went with gold, they went with blessings, and they got to that place where they would go and offer praises and sacrifices to God. Dear child of God, it is time for you to be released. It is time for you to go out there and take everything that are yours. For a long time, the woman was tied until Jesus came and told her to be loosed, and she was loosed immediately. Immediately, that thing that kept her bound was taken of her. Dear child of God, that thing that have kept you bound, that have kept you bound in singlehood, today it will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. That thing that have made you a shadow of yourself, today it will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. That thing that have caused you to stay away from your marital home, Today, it will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. That problem that always arose in your home, that brought strife, problems and issues at all times, that thing that made your home to look so toxic, dear child of God, today, it will be broken and gone in the mighty name of Jesus. God spoke to David and told him that that time of judgment has come. And when it came, God sat judgment upon his enemies, upon everyone that didn't want to see him progress in life. And the Lord is saying to you today that that time of judgment has come, that your blessings will be released unto you. The same thing he did for the Israelites. Those who kept them captive for a long time, the Lord God arose and told Moses in Exodus 6 verse 2, and God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And what he was saying is, I will do what I have decided to do. I will do my intention. And his intention was to bring judgment. And judgment was served. Dear child of God, they had been fighting you. They have been militating against your progress and against your glory. But today, the word of God is making you know that judgment will be served. Your God will arise on your behalf and we see to it that the situation changes. Enough is enough. There is that time that you hold your peace, but it comes to a point still that the Lord God would not hold his peace anymore. 
David would pray to God and tell the Lord God, Please do not hold your peace anymore. And the Lord arose against the enemies of God's people. Dear child of God, the Lord is arising against your enemies today. And he will see to it that everything that they have been doing against you returns back to their head. Because it is judgment time. It is judgment time. Repeat it over and over to yourself and say, Lord, it is the time for judgment and it is time for you to do what you want to do. It is time for you to arise on my behalf and change the situation. The word of God in Zephaniah 2 verse 11 says, The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth and men shall worship him. He said it will be terrible unto them. We know our God to be that terrible God. And it is time for him to show his terrible side against all of your enemies, against everyone that did not want you to progress. It is time for him to break those yoke. It is time for him to take all those limitations that have been placed upon your life and upon your family those yokes upon your neck hindering you from making progress dear child of god the lord is bringing his judgment and today everything must come to an end in the mighty name of jesus from that very altar that they have spoken words to hinder your growth and your destiny the lord is arising and bringing judgment and right in their very eyes they will see it crushed they will see it destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. As the Lord God destroyed the altar of Baal, he will destroy all of their altars in the mighty name of Jesus. The altars they have been using to fight your family for years, for centuries. Today it shall be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. There are sometimes you have not understood why some issues keep reoccurring. That was because an altar was fighting you. But today the Lord is arising to break it. And every of those reoccurring situations, every of those reoccurring problems must come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it is time for you to go out and celebrate the victories of the Lord. It is time for you to enjoy the full blessings that the Lord has said he will do to you and to your family. So the word of God made clear and made known in Numbers 33 verse 4. It says, For the Egyptians buried all their firstborn, which the Lord has smitten upon them, upon their gods also, the Lord executed judgment. Dear child of God, this was how the Lord did it. He brought that judgment that they did not recover from the blows of the Lord. They did not recover from the terrible side of God. Dear child of God, every of those enemies that had been fighting against your life, against your marriage, against your health, against your destiny, against everything you have been pursuing, it is time for the Lord to send forth his arrows. It is time for the Lord to smite them and they will not be able to recover. Never in the mighty name of Jesus. He is breaking also their images, every means at which they have been conjuring. He will break it and he will destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. The houses of their gods, he will break it and he will destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Because your time for liberation has come. Because the time for your blessings have come. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will come out and worship the Lord again. You will come out and praise the Lord again. Because the Lord has turned your story around. And is bringing you that testimony that is yours. You will see your marriage restored again. You will see that love come back into your home again. The things that have stopped working. They will begin to walk from this day henceforth. The things that were not functioning, they will begin to function from this day henceforth in the mighty name of Jesus. And that is because the Lord is arising for you and is turning the story around. Dear child of God, you will enjoy your life again and you would have a reason to say, God is good in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Do not be afraid of what the enemies are doing because the Lord has brought the judgment to them and they will face off. They will go away from you. Each and every one of the things they have been doing will not be seen anymore. Like a smoke, they will be taken off you in the mighty name of Jesus. And you would enjoy the blessings of God in Jesus' mighty name. I call it dawn because it is settled in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.